Back from the Gulf Coast Clinical Research Center is Operations Manager Christine Gorgas. So great to have you back. Good morning. Thank you. This morning we're going to talk about one of the most common, uh, common chronic pain condition. It affects more than 5 million people. Yes. We are talking about fibromyalgia. Yes. What is that? Fibromyalgia is uh, basically it's a sensitivity type of disorder. It's a chronic pain disorder, meaning that the pain is there consistently at the same level. It's widespread pain, meaning that it's both on the upper and lower part of your body, left and right side. And it's basically your brain is amplifying pain sensations. Mm. So it would be a normal touch to an individual for a fibromyalgia patient that signals a pain sensation mm -hmm. to your brain. Um, so this is something that is widespread. Patients have a lot of difficulty with not only the pain but associated symptoms with fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. And it is something, though, that there is medication out there available for the treatment. Mm -hmm. And to kind of simplify it, too, I mean, we were talking about it during break, and, and you're talking about if someone just gives you a hug, yes. that hurts, right? And that's, that's one of the most, uh, most depressing things for patients with fibromyalgia. They'll talk about the inability of their grandchildren to hug them or the inability to, to hug their partner or to, to play with their mm -hmm. grandchildren. It's just any type of touching, it's that sensitivity and tenderness to touch. And some of the symptoms that you're going to be looking for, a deep muscle pain and mm -hmm. soreness, Yes. Uh, morning stiffness. It's like a flu-like aching, it's just a general chronic pain sensation throughout your body. And these are the pain symptoms associated with fibromyalgia on the screen. But fibromyalgia is now considered a fibromyalgia syndrome mm -hmm. because there's also difficulty with things like sleep, chronic fatigue, Difficulty in cognition, which is known as fibro fog, difficulty in remembering things, processing mm. information. And then, of course, because this is a pain issue and because it does affect your daily life, there are a lot of issues with stress, depression, mm -hmm. and other symptoms such as that. How do they diagnose this? Because you said there's not really one test that they can do no. to kind of single this out. Exactly. Unfortunately, there is no diagnostic. I can't send you for an x ray and have it come back and tell me you have fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we look at is your history of symptoms with the pain, where the pain is occurring, and the other symptoms around, such as that fatigue, cognition, mm -hmm. in your sleep. There is one test that's done, which is called a tender point evaluation. And what's done is basically pressure is applied to 18 different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. And basically, we look to see how many of those tender points cause you significant pain. And that's really the only definitive test that we can do. Because if I press on 18 points in your body, wow. you should not be saying ouch to mm -hmm. 11 out of 18 mm -hmm. of those. And that's really how we kind of categorize what fibromyalgia is. And this is not necessarily something that would start early in life. You could, you know, pretty much be at any age and this starts, right. is my understanding. It usually does start later in life. It usually starts slowly. The pain comes on slowly, which is one of the reasons that patients have a hard time getting diagnosed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're for years and for different x-rays of different parts of their body trying to figure out where that pain's coming from. But it comes on slowly. Um, they don't know what causes it, but they do theorize that sometimes it's the result of may maybe a surgery, maybe mm -hmm. an infection, something that has caused your body to become sensitized to pain. Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is that Gulf Coast Clinical Research, uh, you guys can help. There yes. are things that we can do, uh, mm -hmm. ways to treat this, what, right? Absolutely. There's medications available on the market today that treat fibromyalgia. Typically, the narcotic pain medications are not effective. Mm -hmm. So what they're looking at is new line medications. We've seen the newer line antidepressants be very effective with fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. We've seen the anticonvulsants, Lyrica is one of them, uh, gabapentin is another that have been effective. And what we're doing now is evaluating a new drug for the treatment mm -hmm. of fibromyalgia pain. So as of now, this is not curable, but treatable. Treatable, exactly, treatable. And a lot of times it's with medication and also with anything else, um, your, your normal stress activity, the, your health, mm -hmm. your um, eating habits, things of that nature mm -hmm. can also help. If somebody wants to get involved in one of your research trials, what do they need to do or how can they get in touch with you? Absolutely, they can contact us at any time, either by phone and the numbers on the screen or by our website. Our website is a really great resource, even if you're not interested in participating in a research trial, for learning more about the disorders. About and kind of educating yourself right, on absolutely. it. Right, absolutely. And what the um, availability of, of help is in, in Fort Myers. 
And, to, and uh, fibromyalgia is what we're talking about today, but Christine mm -hmm. comes on all the time and talks about <laughs> depression and many other yes. uh, clinical research trials that you can mm -hmm. be a part of. And the best part is if you don't have insurance, this is a really good way Absolutely. to kind of explore treatment options. It's a great way to be able to come in and really uh, work with a group of people that are experts in the particular field of um, depression, anxiety, fibromyalgia, and really learn more about those particular disease states and learn more about participating in a research trial. And as you said, the benefits to the research trial really are, there's no cost, mm -hmm. insurance is not required, and you're evaluating new meds. Christine, thank you so much. Thank you. For more on Gulf Coast clinical research trials, just go to their website or go to our website. And for now, we'll send it over to Carly. All right, up next, we spread the love of fashion in our homes. We decorate on a dime and use Valentine's Day as our inspiration.